Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing an extremely useful and productive feature for your Samsung Galaxy smartphone for the gallery application. So let's dive in and discover. Now, before we dive in real quick, I do want to let you know Samsung is about to release some amazing smartphones in a couple weeks. Now, there's going to be a link down below. If you click the link, it will take you to Samsung's website, which is this website right over here. And all you want to do is simply give your name, all right? and your email and reserve this offer. And what's gonna happen is you are gonna get locked in for their exclusive offers that will disappear when these phones come out. You're gonna get super high trade-in values, 12 months of Samsung Care Plus free, a bunch of free gifts, and if you end up trading in your current phone, you simply get $100 for free. It is an amazing offer, links down below. If you are interested in their upcoming smartphones on August the 11th, make sure you reserve before this deal is gone. All right, anyway, let's dive in. All right, so like I said, the feature has to do with the gallery application, so I'm gonna launch it right now, and I do have a quick example for you guys right here, so I'm gonna go to my camera. Here's just a bunch of photos I took. So here's a photo I took recently. I went to a store and I purchased something and I took a photo of the receipt because many times I just lose my receipts. Now this is just one example, I'm gonna show you more. But here's what I do with all the photos that I take. So basically I click on any photo, okay, that's important. And then what I do is I swipe up the photo. And what you're gonna see if you swipe all the way up over here is the option to edit this photo. And once you do that, you can actually add a tag to this photo. So let me show you. At the bottom here, you have the option to add some automatic tags. I'm just gonna do it manually so you get the idea. So I click on the tag and I simply say receipt. All right, receipt, just like that. And then I'm gonna click on plus. As long as it is black, it means it's selected, I'm gonna save. Now that receipt, uh, you wanna save over here too. Once you're done, you wanna save over there. Now this receipt is tagged with the receipt tag. So 30 days from now, when these photos are just gonna be, there's gonna be thousands of other photos, it's just gonna be buried somewhere down in my database, I can simply click on search, okay? And I can simply uh, search for that tag. So if I were to tap this here, and if I simply type in receipt, it's gonna show up right there. When I click it, it's gonna bring up all the photos tagged with that receipt tag, all right? So it is a great way to organize your photos. And here's a great part. You can actually tag things in a batch. So let's say I had 50 receipts here. I can select all the photos I wanna tag at the same time for the same tag. And once they're all selected, let's just select these as an example. Tap on more. What you can do is you can tap on add a tag and you can actually add a tag. I can use the pre-existing tags or add new ones. Okay, just let's just say ABC for a minute as an example. Now I got two tags attached to those four photos. I can tap on save and now those photos have that tag. Uh, if I, in the future, if I'm looking for a specific photo, I simply go in there, tap on search. Let's just type in ABC. Look at what happens. I got that tag, I click on it. Those four photos I tagged show up right here. And of course, you can add multiple tags or whatever. Now, here's one more example I'm going to give you guys. Here's um, an album here. There's just a bunch of car videos. Could be videos of your pet, your kids, yourself, your vacation, whatever. Again, let's say I was on vacation when I took these uh, photos right here. So I selected all of these videos. I can tap on more. I can tap on add. And I can simply say vacation, Mexico, add that as a tag. All right, I can also say car, videos. You cannot put a space. It has to be one word, by the way. Uh, tap on add. I can save. And again, if I ever in the future want to search for specific photos, I simply do it via tags. And you can do this for documents your children, your pets, whatever you want, you can start organizing your photos right now and make them easy to search. I use this mostly for documents, receipts, and even for specific things like footage for a certain video, if I'm about to make a video using these videos, all right? 
So that's it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. Remember, you can uh, tag him by swiping up. That's for an individual photo. You swipe all the way up, click on edit, and just go to your edit tags or add the automatic tags. If I tap on this one, it, it's just an automatic tag, all right? You can also delete the automatic tags if you don't want them. Let's say I don't want the receipts or the documents here. I can delete that, all right? So the phone is smart enough that it actually suggests some automatic tags. But that's for one photo and multiple photos. Press and hold, tap, boom, boom. You're good to go, all right? Questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. For now, guys, have a fantastic day.